How's it going everyone? Weston here with GoWesty and today we're going to do a walkthrough on the alternator bracket bundle. Part number GVW-Alt-Monster-Bundle. The original design of the alternator bracket puts all the weight of the alternator on just two studs. We've seen this design fail and cause severe damage to the engine's case. This kit was designed to reinforce the OE bracket and prevent future damage to your engine. Before starting the install, be sure to disconnect both the main and auxiliary batteries. Start by removing the wires that go to the alternator. Loosen the alternator adjuster bracket in the lower mounting bolt. Remove the adjusting bolt and take off the alternator belt. Then fully uninstall the lower mounting bolt. With the lower mounting bolt completely uninstalled, remove the alternator. Loosen the three mounting bolts for the power steering pump bracket. With all three bolts loose, lift the power steering pump bracket up. Take the provided thicker 8mm washer and slip it underneath the bracket at the lowermost bolt. This can be kind of tricky so using a thin magnet helps. Lift up the power steering bracket once more to line up the alternator fix bracket. Now we move on to the alternator monster bracket. Locate the elbow found beneath the alternator bracket shown here. Loosen and remove both the nuts going to the coolant elbow, as the provided shoulder nuts will be utilized instead. Applying constant pressure to the coolant elbow may keep you from losing any coolant. Line up the monster bracket with the two studs on the engine, then use the provided bolt and passing it through the alternator bracket to hold it in place. When passing the provided bolt through, make sure that the dipstick tube hold down bracket is sandwiched between the factory bracket and the new monster bracket. Thread both shoulder nuts onto the studs, making sure that the shoulder portion goes into the monster bracket. Tighten both of these nuts, making sure not to exceed 20 foot-pounds. When tightening up both of these brackets, I like to leave the bolt in its final position as it helps keeping everything lined up. With the monster bracket installed, tighten up the power steering pump bracket. When tightening these three bolts, make sure not to exceed 14 foot-pounds. If you remove the power steering pump belt, reinstall and tighten properly. With everything installed and torqued properly, back the bolt out so it's resting as shown. Then slide the alternator down into its factory bracket, making sure all the new holes line up. Now locate the bolt resting at the back of the alt fix bracket and shimmy it through all the holes. This takes some finesse, but it's not too hard. Sometimes this can be kind of tricky, but wiggling the alternator back and forth and forward and back and side to side helps. With the bolt sticking through, attach the provided wavy washer and nut. Don't tighten these yet. Reinstall the alternator belt, making sure it's properly installed on the water pump pulley as well as the main pulley. Pry against the base of the oil breather. When the belt is properly tensioned, tighten the top nut, making sure that it keeps its tension. Then tighten both lower nuts. And that's it, you're done.